Former President Donald Trump has proposed a tax plan that would eliminate income taxes and impose tariffs. In this video, I am going to break down exactly what that's going to look like for you, the individual, for business owners, and for the economy as a whole. But before we jump in, I'm gonna need you to like, comment, and subscribe, because we can afford to miss out on any of this tax information. Tariffs actually mean that any time that another country is going to import their goods into our country, the United States, we are going to surcharge that country with a fee, and that is called a tariff, as opposed to charging them a tax because they're not citizens, they don't pay tax in our country, we charge them fees. We call tariffs, which is on their goods that they import into our country. Tariffs a lot of times can be considered punitive, meaning if we want to punish a country, we're going to impose a tariff on their goods coming to our country. But instead of utilizing it as punitive, Donald Trump is saying he's going to utilize this instead of income taxes on the citizens of the United States. The impact that these tariffs can have on business can potentially be costly. If you are operating a business where you are selling imported goods, you are going to now have to pay more for those imported goods, meaning that your cost of goods to operate your business is going to increase. In a time where we already have inflation, in a time where prices are going up, prices would have to go up even higher because in order for you to cover the cost of goods, you would have to increase the prices to customers. This could mean that your business may get less income and potentially less profits if your customers are not willing to absorb the full price increase of the tariff. The way that these tariffs can change for the economy and what is that's going to look like can really impact jobs. And by that, I mean, if we are importing goods and those goods are now gonna be at a higher rate, businesses may have to scale down their employees because they may lose out on sales. They may not be able to have as big a demand as they would have when prices were a lot lower and not being impacted by tariffs. On the flip side of that equation, it could be perhaps some of our businesses will stop importing and will manufacture in the states and that could potentially create jobs. I believe that is the angle in which Donald Trump is thinking about in terms of tariffs. This will, imposing tariffs will really impact the global economy from a lot of ways. If I am a foreign country and you're now going to charge me to import my goods at a much higher rate, I may feel some sort of way about that. If tariffs were seen as punitive in the past and now you're imposing a tariff on the goods that are coming from my country, I may feel as though that is penalizing my country. And I don't think that is going to bode well for having good relations with foreign countries. These countries may decide that they are not going to export goods to the states because they're gonna get hit with these extravagant tariffs. What could that potentially look like for business owners? Will we be able to get the goods we need to sell to our customers? Will you as individuals be able to acquire the goods that you're accustomed to having on a daily basis? Because we do import a lot of goods from abroad. Tariffs can definitely rock the political and economic global economy. From a political perspective, countries may feel some level of offense. Countries may feel that they are being attacked by these terrors being imposed. I do not believe that war is always about missiles and guns. Sometimes war is about imposing other things. Sometimes it's about cyber attacks. Sometimes it's about terrors. 
Who knows what that really is going to look like? But I do believe it is going to put a strain on our political relations with other countries. I do believe it is going to put a strain on the economic relations with other countries. What about other countries now putting tears on what we export to other countries? Could there be retaliation from that perspective? Who knows? At the end of the day, it's going to be important for you, the business owner, for you, the individual taxpayer, to understand what tears mean globally, what tears mean to you as an individual, how that's going to affect your day-to-day budget, how that's going to affect your ability to do business, how that's going to affect your ability to serve your customers. Keep yourself diligent on making sure you're paying attention as to what's going on in our country. Keep yourself diligent to make sure you're paying attention to what is going on in our country because these things do affect you, the taxpayer, the consumer, the business owner. It's important that you start now thinking about what strategic business adjustments you need to make. If all of your business is predicated upon you importing goods, start thinking about what you should be selling if you no longer could import goods. Start thinking about the elasticity of your pricing model. Can your customers absorb a price increase? Start thinking about how you can change your business model around to make sure that you still continue with a going concern making sure you're still able to run your business and feed your family. It's important to focus, it's important to pay attention, and it's important to have a game plan because we do not know what is gonna happen until November. Stay focused, people. And at the end of the day, now that you know better, I absolutely need for you to do better. I need you to share this video with this valuable information I need you to like, comment, and subscribe so I can continue to bring you this earth-shattering information. God bless America.